hello this is Kylie Diamond from Diamond Precision just doing this quick video to show the people out there on how to take a few basic steps to maintain their computer their PC computer so um, first thing is that um, you must be running a Windows XP on your computer for this tutorial um, okay so the first thing I'm going to do is um, customize my start menu so the first thing you want to do is right click over the start menu and go to properties now here you've got two options on how you want to display your start menu I prefer to use this this selection this this start menu here because you have more options to select from okay so the next thing you do is click on the customize button okay and then go to the advanced tab and down here as you scroll down you can select some of these menus like I take off the help and support um, you can leave the favorites menu on there if you'd like to um, display as a link for my computer same as my documents um, these are the selections that I usually have on my computer so um, have my network places displaying my pictures um, network connections um, printers and faxes run command search take this off by default this is showing on your start menu so I untick that so I don't need to show that and by default this item the administrative tools is not displayed as well so if you and select it so it's displaying on all programs menu that's also good here's a little tip to do um, to clear the list if you want to clear some files from your computer that are no longer needed you can clear the list of recent documents shown so you, all you do is click on that and then that will clear your list and then once that's finished see it goes blank and then you go OK there and OK again that's done now we have this start menu ok if you want to get rid of these files here what you can do is you go right click properties customize and click on this button here clear list ok apply ok there you go now they're all deleted ok the next thing I'm going to show you is how oh. you go to start my computer then right click over the C drive and go to properties ok and then click on the tools tab at the top there oh, no, go back to general and click on the disk cleanup button <coughs> now depending on whether you've done this for a long time it, this may take quite a while to load ok so you just sit back and wait for that while that's happening you can click on the tools menu again outside of it and then click on this error checking button check now tick these two boxes here don't need to worry too much about what they are click start then it says the disk check cannot be performed because the disk check utility needs exclusive access to some windows files on the disk these files can be accessed only by restarting windows do you want to schedule the disk, this disk check to occur the next time you restart the computer just click yes ok so that will happen um, the next time you reboot your computer or next time you restart it ok now this is what's shown when you've um, done the disk cleanup so these numbers may be very high on your computer so just select the files that have some numbers under here and that's just how much how many files that you can delete the the um, disk size 3 kilobytes, 32 kilobytes etc ok and then just click ok once you've selected all of that are you sure you want to perform these actions? yes might take a couple of minutes or a few seconds for you depending on how the last time you did it ok and the last thing I would do to maintain my PC is run a defrag ok so I'll I would click the defrag to the, the defragment button. That may take about sort of 30 to 40 minutes to complete, or even longer, depending on if you haven't done it for a long time. Um, once it's completed, 
you'll get a message to say that defragmentation has completed successfully and then I would close the program down close all these windows down reboot my computer turn off restart it and then that'll um, run the disk check for you and then you've completed all the PC maintenance that you require and that these are just some of the simple steps that you can take with the built-in um, software that you have with your Windows PC, Windows XP computer. So um, hopefully you've got some value out of that. Um, if you have any questions, um, send me a message on my video or my channel and let me know what your frustrations with your computer are and um, I'll try and build a, a how-to video on, on getting those completed. This is Kylie Diamond signing off. Um, take care. God bless. See ya.